Mouse. Mouse. Uh-huh. A fox. Okay. A baby. Hi friend, Emily here with Experienced Mommy, and today I am talking to you about how to homeschool your two-year-old. How you can start introducing slowly a little bit more of structured learning. Children learn best through play and interaction with others. So the best thing about homeschooling is that we do it anywhere, anytime. When we're going on walks through the neighborhood. Let's count all of the clouds. How many clouds do you see? One, two, three, four. What color is the sun? What color are the trees? My two-year-old really loves to read. Your two-year-old really may like puzzles. So get some learning puzzles that has fish and different noises and there's sound puzzles and stuff like that. If your two-year-old won't sit still for two minutes, then go outside and make it something that they have to run through objects. Like, okay, count the cones, now run through them. Get creative, but there's freedom. Keep it simple and keep it fun. They're two, so they don't wanna sit for long periods of time. Their attention spans are all over the place. Give them grace, know that they're only two. And if one day you get in five minutes of sitting down with them and learning their shapes, great. We started introducing just 15 to 30 minutes about three times a week of sitting down at the kitchen table and doing more of our lessons. One thing that I like to do at the beginning of each month is write out on our refrigerator what Harvey is going to be learning. That way, both me and my husband can be teaching Harvey whenever we get a chance. So the first subject is scripture. So that may either be the memory verse of that month or a story of the Bible that we're reading over and over again so that he really understands or maybe some virtuous lesson that we're learning or he could be learning a hymn. Second subject is catechism. We are believers in Jesus Christ. So introducing your son or daughter to really important, purposeful, intentional questions that are lifelong at the breakfast table, during lunch, at dinner. I'll ask Carvey, why did God make you? And he'll say, uh, for his glory. For his glory, that's right. The third subject is social studies. One month we focused on presidents. So now Harvey understands that there is a president of the United States. The first president is George Washington and the four presidents that are on Mount Rushmore and he can list them off. Also social studies can just be days of the week, months of the year. I try to relate the days of the week with something that's going on that day. If today is Monday and tomorrow the trash man comes, what day is it? If it's Saturday, I'll say, Harvey, it's Saturday. Daddy doesn't have to go to work. So what's tomorrow? What do we get to do tomorrow? And he'll say, go to church, cause it's Sunday. So he has something tangibly to hold on to to understand that tomorrow is Sunday. Then we go into the next subject, which is math. Just count everything with your toddler. Count the clouds. Count how many strawberries he has on his plate. One, two, three, four, five. Count how many toys he's playing with at that current time. Count how many seconds he's going to the bathroom. Going into the next subject is science, and we call it research, when either we'll read a book and it'll have a frog in it, and I'll say, Harvey, tadpoles turn into frogs. And he's like, what? I don't get that. And we can research a tadpole actually turning into a frog. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. And that is the beauty of YouTube people so that they understand that these animals are designed and intricately woven. And what I write down on the assignment sheet is just going off of what books we've been reading. Harvey loves the caterpillar, the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar book. So I was like, okay, how can I incorporate what he also saw on the sidewalk, which was a caterpillar, and understanding that in two weeks, a caterpillar goes from this huge massive green caterpillar turning into a cocoon that turns into a butterfly. How amazing. Now, as Harvey is getting closer and closer to turning three, we have incorporated planets. And you can explain metamorphosis. You can explain 
a chlorophyll. You can explain how the sun and the moon, one rises during the day, one is at night. That is science. And just talking to your children about what they're experiencing. The next subject is motor skills. Anything from learning how to use the vacuum and doing chores, which are his responsibility, how to use a spray bottle. I took Harvey outside and for his motor skills, we were learning how to do jumping jacks and I was teaching him how to do a, a cartwheel. We are working with scissors. So we have a muffin tin rescue with just masking tape. Some of the things are just little magnetic soccer ball, basketball, some letters that we're gonna work on, some Legos for colors, some plantain chips for a little bit of motivation. We've gotten these kid-friendly will not cut you knives. We'll do things like cucumbers. He loves the fact that he's helping and he's learning and that's where it starts. I will link these down below. And some days we talk about colors and you have to put the craft balls in different paper matching the color instead of just saying, this is orange, this is green, this is blue. You know, get their hands moving, let them get messy, get them outside, let them paint. And that's how you learn colors, finger painting is awesome. Let your two-year-old use the chalk to learn colors. And then you can draw fish that you're learning in your science subject. So you don't have to be sitting necessarily at the table to learn these things for a two-year-old. Keep it simple, keep it fun. In the language subject, it's usually just including a letter. Ay -ay. Okay. I we're still working on our R's and our L's. So in language, I just say, Harvey, try to sing la 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 to learn his L's. Or we could do like a nursery rhyme, things like that that can help him learn language and tone, inflection, things like that. One week we may do a memory game with all of the flashcards and all of the letters. So we go through A, B, C, D, E, and we do a memory game. Find me the A. Or we could do a matching game and Harvey, find me the little A. The last subject that I usually include is hygiene and safety. So some months we'll work on what is mommy's cell phone number? He's two years old and he knows mommy's cell phone number. What street he lives on? Safety and then hygiene. I can comb my hair. I can brush my teeth. I can wash my hair. Just simple hygiene things. If nothing else is done during the entire day, during the entire month, sit down and read aloud. They will absorb so much from being involved in the illustrations. They will learn language. They will learn creativity, better imagination. They're two years old. And trust me when I say that if they are home, you are reading aloud to them and you are keeping it simple and keeping it fun, your toddler will have a great homeschool experience. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up down below. Feel free to comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Mom out.